We also have an update tonight on the status of school speed zone cameras in the city of Buffalo. After literally months and months of delays, parts of Buffalo's school speed program are about to go live. Channel 2's Jeff Preval has the story tonight. Speed zones outside Canisius High and the Mikowski Early Childhood Center will officially go live Wednesday morning. We chose these two schools uh, because of traffic volume. Uh, Delaware Avenue is a very heavily trafficked street. Uh, Jefferson Avenue is a very heavily trafficked street. The beacons are flashing lights outside these schools will be active and the cameras taking pictures of anyone going 26 miles per hour or over. So this was a program that was announced last summer and now we're starting to see parts of the program go live. Why has it taken so long to get to this point? Because we want to do it right. We want to make sure that people understand the program. So far, there are 10 schools that are part of the program. We've already told you about two that are going live. The other eight have cameras, and the city has been in the process of putting flashing beacons in these speed zones. As far as any other schools beyond Mikowski and Canisius, uh, we'll be continuing to uh, do the installations and roll out those additional schools as the cameras and the beacons are ready and tested. Until this happens, no pictures will be taken, no warnings, and no $50 violations will be written to speeding drivers outside the other schools in the program. We're not wish issuing warnings any longer. We think now people are aware of this program. City Hall says 90,000 warnings have been sent to drivers going over the school zone speed limit and that compliance is rising. Two months ago, 5% of drivers were at or under the limit in school zones. A couple weeks ago, that number jumped to 33%. And the city still maintains this is not a money grab. Our goal uh, for this program is not to write tickets. Our goal is to get drivers to slow down. And eventually, the city says it would like to go from 10 schools in the program up to 20 schools. City officials say that while cops have written speeding tickets, there have been no $50 violations issued from speed zone cameras. I'm Jeff Preval, Channel 2 News.